Explosion is an emitter type quirk that allows the user to create explosions from the palms of their hands. The user of this quirk is the UA student Katsuki Bakugo, also known as Great Explosion Murder God Dynamite. It's probably unnecessary for me to explain what an explosion is, but I'm going to do it regardless since that's been the format of all of these videos thus far. The dictionary defines it as a violent and destructive shattering or blowing apart of something, as is caused by a bomb. The more technical definition is a violent expansion in which energy is transmitted outward as a shockwave. It's really easy to figure out why Bakugo's quirk is called explosion. The quirk allows the user to produce sweat from the palms of their hands and this sweat is made up of something similar to nitroglycerin, a dense, colorless, oily, explosive liquid that is an active ingredient in dynamite at will. They can also ignite the sweat at will to create explosions of various sizes dependent on how much sweat they have. This means the more active the user is, the more explosions they'll be able to make because they'll be sweating more. This also implies that the quirk factor is the hands, meaning if they were ever cut off or removed, the quirk would be unusable. The user is immune to the heat of the explosions, but they may take some recoil damage and injure their arm or shoulders. We've seen that Bakugo had some throbbing pain in his arms and shoulders when he does super large explosions or even repeated explosions. Another weakness of this quirk is during the cold weather, the sweat takes longer to detonate, meaning they can't make explosions as quickly nor as frequently. This quirk was a special mutation as Bakugo didn't inherit the quirk from either of his parents. His mother's quirk allowed her to secrete glycerin from her skin, which she uses to moisturize herself and keep up a very youthful appearance. His father's quirk allows him to secrete acidic sweat with explosive properties from the palms of his hands, but it seeps out little by little like ordinary sweat. He can create explosions by clapping his hands really hard and by rubbing them together, but the explosions aren't powerful at all. Since he hit the genetic gold mine, Bakugo gained a superiority complex, and the nature of this quirk gave him a really aggressive, explosive personality. He uses this quirk in a very creative way, because he doesn't mainly use it for raw attack power. He uses it to drastically improve his mobility by propelling himself through the air with the thrust of his explosions. It helps him to move faster, slow down, and move left or right if need be. He can even use these explosions to fly through the air. Increasing his mobility like this allows him to be extremely unpredictable because his movements go beyond what you would expect from the average human. He also uses this quirk to do some short to mid to long range damage depending on how much sweat he has available to blow up. He has a lot of battle intelligence and raw talent that allows him to use this quirk to the fullest potential. Bakugo's costume includes a support item called Grenadier Bracers. They are the big green things attached to his arms. They store excess sweat from the palm of his hands and once they are filled, he can pull the pin to release a giant explosion. He can technically create giant explosions without this device, but this support item helps him to not damage himself by straining himself physically to produce enough sweat to create a giant explosion. While it does help reduce damage, it is also very possible to take damage from this device if you aren't physically fit enough to withstand the knockback of the explosion. The Grenadier Bracers took a toll on Deku when he used it against All Might. His hero costume also comes equipped with grenades that are completely reliant on his sweat to explode. All he has to do is fill up the cartridges of the grenades with the sweat from the palm of his hands and it becomes an active grenade. All you have to do is pull the pin and chuck it like you would a regular grenade. Kaminara used one of these at the Provisional Hero License exam, thus proving this support item is good for sharing his quirk ability among his allies. He also has knee pads that were designed to kill with his knees. We haven't seen him do this yet, but the idea must have been to use his explosions to propel himself fast enough to knee someone at deadly speed. Bakugo has created a variety of ultimate moves with his quirk and it is finally time to go through them all. He has explosive speed where he puts his hands behind him and uses his thrust from his explosions to propel himself forward. With this technique he can move at speeds faster than he normally would without this quirk. On his first day at UA, Bakugo was able to complete a 50 meter dash in 4.13 seconds with this technique. That means he was moving at 12.11 meters a second which is also 27.08 miles an hour. Since he's only gotten better with his quirk since then, he can probably move at much faster speeds now. This ultimate move works on both the ground and in the air. Stun Grenade is an ultimate move where Bakugo creates a sphere of light from his hands that explode into a large flash of light. It blinds anyone who is close by like an actual stun grenade. It gave Bakugo a huge advantage against the Dark Shadow quirk as that one was weak against light. A variation of this ultimate move is Point Blank Stun Grenade, and like the name suggests, it's basically just Stun Grenade used at a very close range. Howitzer Impact is the strongest ultimate move Bakugo has created. To perform this technique, Bakugo goes in the air and uses explosions to propel himself in a circular motion so he is spinning like a tornado. Once he reaches the appropriate range, it ends with a giant explosion at the end of the tornado. The spinning aspect of this technique probably helps Bakugo to build up more sweat and add some extra damage. It also adds some unpredictability as it's unclear what type of attack he is about to do when you are fighting him in the moment. AP Shot or Armor Piercing Shot is an 
ultimate move where Bakugo focuses the explosion onto a single point rather than the entire palm. He takes one hand and makes a circle, then he puts it over his other palm and shoots an explosion through the circle in order to keep the attack focused to a fixed point. This concentrated shot is powerful enough to pierce through solid concrete, and it helps with hero work as it is an effective way to do a strong attack without being super destructive. This ultimate move has a couple of variations. AP Shot Auto Cannon is basically just when Bakugo rapid fires these focused explosions over a wide area. These smaller explosive shots don't do as much damage on human targets, which is good if he is not trying to kill them. He can also take on multiple targets at once like he did in the provisional hero license exam. The next variation, AP Machine Gun, is actually extremely similar to AP Shot Auto Cannon. The main difference between these two is that AP Machine Gun's explosions are more powerful and dangerous as they are larger blasts that carry more explosive force. Also, when he uses this move, he shoots from two hands instead of just one. Explodapult is a close range ultimate move where Bakugo grabs the target mid air with one arm and uses the other arm to create explosions that spin himself and the target round and round until he has enough momentum to throw them really hard. While this seems like a move that can only be used to attack an opponent, it can also be used for support, like when Bakugo used it to throw Deku really hard at 9. Landmine Blast is an ultimate move where Bakugo puts his Grenadier Bracer on the ground and lets out a big explosion. The purpose of this technique is to blow back any obstacles that are surrounding him. We've seen him use this move to get rid of illusions and smoke in the past. Warning. We're about to dive into some manga spoilers. Skip to the time displayed on screen in order to avoid these spoilers. The last ultimate move we need to talk about is Cluster. To perform this technique, Bakugo needs to condense his explosions before releasing it. The outcome is him setting off multiple powerful explosions rather than just one large explosion. He discovered that the best way to use it would be to save up his sweat so he can let out a barrage of explosions all at once. This technique is something Bakugo can use to upgrade any existing ultimate move he has, because he can use cluster explosions instead of regular explosions. For example, he upgraded his explosive speed by adding cluster to create blasting speed turbo cluster, and this upgrade allows him to go even faster than before. There's another support item that is part of Bakugo's hero costume that I didn't mention earlier as I didn't want to spoil anyone. It's called Strafe Panzer and it's a suppressive heavy mobile unit. It looks big and complicated, but its function is actually quite simple. This support item contains many retractable machine guns that come out from the back of his costume and hang over the edge of his shoulders. They use his sweat as ammunition so they can create a bunch of different explosions at one time without putting too much strain on his body. He used this support item along with Cluster in order to upgrade his strongest ultimate move, how it's her impact. The explosions he uses to propel himself with are larger and more powerful due to the cluster, and he can shoot larger explosions in multiple directions, which is something he couldn't do before thanks to the Strafe Panzer. This quirk is one of the best ones out there as it is extremely versatile. Due to its destructive nature, you'd think that one would use his quirk to become a villain, but Bakugo has proved that there are ways you can use this quirk to be a hero by minimizing the destructive power. Explosion is a very lucky quirk mutation, and I am sure that most people would love to have such a useful quirk like this one. But not only is the quirk itself great, but the user is a straight up tactical genius who takes full advantage of his quirk's power. He will definitely become an extremely well known hero in the future. And with that, I think we can officially commit explosion to the quirk registry.